So here we see a really elaborate uh, bouquet uh, from the early 18th century, uh, just uh, at the dawn of a new century. Um, and the thing to keep in mind about these floral still lives, which are so uh, incredibly elaborate by the time we get to this period, is that these are impossible bouquets. This is not a, uh, an instance of an artist assembling this in their studio and painting it directly from life. It is in the era of botanical gardens and innovation in horticulture in the Netherlands, so it would have been based on real observation uh, of flower specimens, but most of these will bloom at different times of the year, and so there's no way to put this bouquet together in real life. It exists only in the artist's imagination. And especially prominent at the top of this painting is a red and white striped tulip. And tulips are another thing that we think of as being iconically Dutch. They're associated today very strongly with the Netherlands, but they're actually an import in this period. They come from the Ottoman Empire, from Turkey and Asia, and then are cultivated domestically in the Netherlands. And it's actually the first economic bubble to burst in this period. Tulip bulbs become so valuable that people are spending many, many more time salary on just a single tulip bulb. And the red and white striped variety that's in this painting, which is really coveted, is actually the result of a virus that uh, degrades the working uh, or blooming life of a tulip bulb and its propagation. So the thing that was desired led to hastening the market collapse. And so it's called tulip mania and reaches its heights around 1650 and tulips remain and endure a really iconic thing in the Netherlands and product, but they are a global import. So elsewhere in the exhibition, this icon of the Netherlands, the tulip, gets adapted into a sugar bowl that's made of silver imported from the Americas and holds uh, a very small amount of sugar, which was also an import refined in Brazil, uh, once a Dutch colony. And so you have this beautiful example of something that is a global import, the tulip, becoming a local icon that's then adapted to hold something else imported, sugar, made of something imported, silver.